Students, this is a student doubt. Okay, and uh, let's read the statement first. First and second ionization enthalpies in kilojoule per mole of few elements are given below. Okay, you are having four elements, one, two, three, and four, and they have given you the ionization enthalpy one and ionization enthalpy of these four elements. Okay, now out of these, they are saying which of the above elements will form halides with molecular formula. Mx2. You have to tell out of these elements which one will form halide with molecular formula or you can say simple formula Mx2. Right. To find the element first of all we should know the oxidation state of that element or you can also say valency of that element. Now I know that here they have given you the formula Mx2 that means now I can find the uh, valency of that element, right? I know that halides always carry minus one oxidation state or you can say minus one valency, right? So I'll assume this element is having X valency, right? So X minus one. Now I'm having two halides. So into two equal to overall charge is zero. So that will be zero, right? So X minus one into two, two equal to zero right so the value of x is plus two that means the element this element is having oxidation state plus two now i know that alkaline earth metals usually have plus two oxidation state right now these type of questions we can solve by hit and trial methods right now here we are having first element in this case the first ionization enthalpy is very low but the second ionization enthalpy is very very high i know that alkali metals usually have one valence electron okay if they uh, lose this one valence electron then they will acquire noble gas configuration right so that's why i can say second ionization enthalpy will be very high so this will be alkali metal right confusion is between in these three elements right now out of these three elements we will have the uh, elements which will form halides with molecular formula mx2 right now let's see this one last fourth one first i know that noble gases usually have very high ionization enthalpy right so here in both the cases they are having high ionization enthalpy so this may be noble gas right now only two options are left i uh, and uh, here in your options we are having two elements right so second element or third element may be alkaline earth metals because we know that they are having two valence electrons right so if they lose these two electrons they'll acquire noble gas configuration and then their uh, ionization enthalpies uh, will be very high so in second case we can see the difference between these two ionization enthalpies are not very much and in third case also the difference between ionization enthalpies are not very high so we can say that our best possible options are second and third so c is the correct answer